Welcome back everybody. September is National Falls Prevention Month. This is also Falls Prevention Week and we're starting fall this week, so very, very timely. Uh, studies show that adults ages 65 and older falls every second of the day in the U.S. So what better time to offer viewers some tips on preventing falls than this week? And once again, we're joined by our friend Becky Spade from Care Advantage to talk more about fall prevention. Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Thank you Kimberly. for coming in. Thank you. What are some reasons why especially older adults have these falls? Well, as you get older, some Sometimes your balance starts to deteriorate, um, your vision, your hearing, a lot of maybe inner ear problems even. Right. Uh, shoes are a big consideration. Oh, I mean, how many times yes. in our younger days did we even wear those <laughs> really high heels, slick backs? I could backs. have a walk in those. Yeah, and then, then we wound up tripping on a curb or right. something. You know, well, when you're younger, it doesn't seem like as big of a deal, but as you get older, it is. So wearing the right shoes is important. Uh, medications are another big factor in side falls. effects and side some effects. Of that, yeah. So I always caution everybody just because a doctor prescribes it. Remember, there is a list of side effects. You should talk to your doctor about those, read the leaflet, even talk to your pharmacist. Make sure that medications you're taking aren't contraindicative that are causing additional side effects because you're taking this and this. And if you are having side effects like dizziness or finding your balance to be off, call your doctor and talk. There's probably another option for you. Yeah. So, you know, you don't want to fall just because of that. Exactly. Um, so uh, with the, you know, frequency of falling as we get older, what are some pretty good tips uh, for older adults just to kind of, you know, prevent this from happening? Well, you know, make sure your hands are free. That's a biggie. Ah. Uh, that way, if you're going downstairs, you have a hand free to hold that railing. Give yourself that extra support so if you do find yourself starting to slip or fall, you have something to grab onto so that you don't go down. Right. Um, you know, wear the proper footwear. Use an assistive device. You know, don't be so vain that if you need a cane or a walker. That's the key. Yeah, <laughs> don't do be so be vain. vain because <laughs> like, helps because, you know, it's, it's just a fact of it life. Is. We all get older it and is. start losing our balance. You know, so which yeah. is more important, uh, you know, using that versus going to the emergency room. Exactly. I think, you know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Uh, checking for those fall hazards, trip hazards around your, your home. Do you have scattered rugs that are you know, a hazard for your feet or if you're trying to use a cane or a walker that are causing issues for, for them as well. Um, exercise is really important, uh, doing stability, endurance, strength, whatever types of exercises you can that keeps you strong and keeps you from, you know, losing your balance. Exactly. Uh, you know, yeah. so taking a look at medications again, we go back to that. Um, and then, uh, you know, just, yeah being honest with your yourself being able to understand what and you actually have some exercises I for do us today. we're gonna do a little quick demonstration we've got those tips up there to prevent falls as Becky just went over but uh, alright so what are some things and is it a good idea to maybe practice these before we kind of get to that age just so we yeah you know, kind of working on our balance yeah. a little bit yeah we should all be doing regular exercising it is as it is but yeah. a lot of times people think okay well I did my little whatever uh, thinking in terms of balance Okay, really so important. what are a couple so, of quick things that we All right, do? so uh, we're not in a chair, but a good one that we always start out with is the sit to stand. So we can okay. pretend we're sitting. Okay. And then we're just going to stand. Okay. And so you do that a couple of times, sit to stand. Okay. And see how comfortable you feel with that. Then you're okay to move on. We have a nice little table here, so I always recommend that too. We can pretend we're in ballet class and this is our bar. Okay. okay. There, there are wheels on the bottom. There are wheels, so we're... <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> but just simply raising a leg out okay. to the side. Okay. Yeah. And then over time, as you do this, if you start feeling more confident and you don't need a support, you can just then you do can it just like practice. This. And then, you know, switching to the other side. Okay. And then seeing how you do. I would think yoga would be a really good thing. Yoga, Tai Chi, yes. Pilates, mm -hmm. all of those are fabulous for balance as well as core strength. Okay. So those are right. very important for senior tips. All right. Thank you so much, Becky, for coming in. Great tips. And, you know, these are all things that we have to start thinking about sooner than later. All right. And we're going to post all of this, all this information for you on our website. There's our story up there under aging in place in the morning section of our website. Again, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Becky, thank we appreciate you. you. Thank you. And WDBJ7 morning. We'll be right back.